Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Rachel, and we just like to have fun around here. Talk about beauty, lifestyle, pop culture, whatever just comes up that day. Now what's come up today is I have so many clothes I need to get rid of, and me and my husband Giovanni have been a little, I would wanna say like on a, I don't wanna say minimalist. I wanna say like minimal-ish, minimalist-ish journey. Um, we're not out here getting rid of everything we own, but I think I've finally been able to grab hold of the concept or the um, thought process that has helped me grab hold of what's most helpful about minimalism for me and my family in my house. So what it is, is just like, <sighs> this, sound, this sounds so stupid and so basic, but it's just like, do you really need this? Like, have you even thought about it lately? What's holding, what are you holding onto it for? Specifically the sentimentality of things, if that's a word. Um, it's just things that I'm like, oh, this person gave it to me or, oh, it makes me think of that one memory. And I think I've just had this huge brain shift that just because I don't need an item doesn't mean I love the person that gave it to me any less. And also just because I give away or part with something that makes me reminded of a certain memory, I'm not separated from that memory whatsoever. This t-shirt isn't going to like truly help me keep that memory. It's up here and it's here. So I've been able to just let go of a lot more things. So today, I want to tackle my closet and there's a lot of things that it's just like practice so it's like the practical brain of do you wear this how often and what kind of things because you also have to have a really practical wardrobe if you are living a life of working a nine-to-five corporate job then you need way more of those kind of clothes and you're going to need like all this loungewear or maybe you work from home it's like okay well you don't need all of these things or what have you you need a good balance but it needs to match and actually reflect like kind of life you're living. So we're gonna have that practical brain going. We're also gonna have this like heart sentimental, like trying to balance that out of like, okay, do I feel like myself in these clothes? Um, am I only holding on to this because of a certain memory or it makes me think of a certain stage of life that I loved, but I'm not in it anymore. So I have to like, just leave it behind. So those are the things we're gonna be thinking about. And I'm gonna go through like items and just yank them out and be like, boom, this is what I'm getting rid of. And here's why, here's my thought process. And I hope maybe it will encourage you on a similar journey if you want to or care about any of this. Let's just dive in. Let's go. Let's go. P.S. We got a fun new camera. And it auto focuses. Oh, I'm in focus. Oh, I'm up here. Still in focus. And I'm just having a lot of fun with it. So we we need to warn you right here though. The lighting in this bathroom, which is where my closet is, it's not gonna be good, okay? So just remember me as you see me here. Coloring, it's just perfect. Here we go. My bathroom, the lights are just so warm and the walls are still brown. I haven't gotten to do these yet. Um, by do, I mean paint. I just hate it. And unfortunately the closet's pretty similar, but we're here for a purpose. We're not here to, to look cute. We're here to get rid of stuff. Let's go. So this is, oh, that's my pillow bed. Don't mind him. This is what we're working with. Okay, I'm being so bare and vulnerable with you guys right now, so be kind. I guess we won't throw away Giovanni's clothes without asking, but this is what we're working with. These are our sections that we're going to go through. One, two, and three. Here we go. First up, the sweater-ish area. Here are two fun Christmas items. This one, snowman, flannel. I wear it every year. This one, French Bulldogs, turtleneck. Here's the deal, I always reach for this one, never reach for this one. As fun as this is, I, it's gotta go. Dramatic effect. This, practical reason we're getting rid of this. It is a sweater tunic type thing. The neckline is so wide that I literally have to wear a strapless bra with it because I don't really love my bra shop showing, so it's gone. Okay, I thrifted this super cute, like, sweater blazer, and I'm gonna give myself another month, because it's still cold, it's February, 
We have one month to attempt to wear this, and if it's just not flowing, then it's she's got to go. These are three cardigans that I've held on to for so long because in a certain season of life, I loved them. They were cozy. They were comfy. These colors went with all the colors I like. But I just don't wear them anymore. It's not my style anymore. My style has evolved. That's a good thing. So these have to go. I put this on yesterday and I don't like the way it fits anymore. So that's just easy. This was a top I also used to love and I refound. So I was trying to make it work again. Um, I did wear it one time and I just... I don't like the way the sleeves are anymore. So if if that, if anything like that, like, oh, I don't like the way the shoulders are, the sleeves is stopping you from reaching for a clothing item, get rid of it because it's just going to sit in your closet. Okay, this is going to sound, I don't know, maybe a little morbid, but these are two black dresses. One has long sleeves, one is sleeveless. They're just good little black dresses. So quick event dress, but also they're good funeral dresses. So I keep them love 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 wear it all the time good summer dress this is something i wore a ton while i was pregnant and so it makes me think if i'm pregnant again one day that i'll like it so i am gonna hold on to it for that reason i think that's an okay reason to hold on to something This one's a sentimental one. I wore this to one of my bridal showers before I got married. And it's so fun and springy that I've held on to it. And I've probably worn it once a year since then, but we're going on six years now. Um, and I just think someone else might find this at the thrift store and enjoy it more than me. I have other dresses I like. I've had this for over 10 years. And I'm still only getting rid of it because guess what? Wear it all the time. It's cute. It's like a sweater or not a sweater. A t-shirt dress from Old Navy. And I, I go back to it. I keep reaching for it because it's comfy and I know I like it. So some things hold on to them for longer. There's a reason. All right, Will is waking up, so we're gonna pause this for now, come back to it later. Also, this whole focus thing, we need to figure it out. We were really talking it up at the beginning, but we need to learn it better, so BRB. All right, it is hours later. We have had lunch, we've gone to the park, we are on to nap number two. We're ready to dive back in. Um, this is giving me life. It's no Diet Coke by any means, but it'll do. Also, I did not have time to look at this camera focus thing. So we're winging it this episode. This episode, this video, whatever we're calling it. It's being winged. Okay, we're done with this section, which was sweaters and dresses. We're moving on now to tops. So, now this shirt was one of my favorite work shirts when I did work in an office. Because the sleeves are just, uh, to die for. They're like cute little flutter sleeves. I'm going to keep it because if I need to go business cash, which I do, I have um, a talk I'm doing on UNW campus in a few weeks. This would be something I could wear because I'm going to be business cash for that. If I need to go business cash but still be a cheetah girl, cheetah sister, we're set. We have options. I'm ready to give this away. This was a work shirt. I'm not going to wear this anymore. It's not my fave. So, bye-bye thrifted this recently super excited to wear it on a cruise i'm going on next month it's next month it's in march if you're from texas if you know you know we still need our tyler shirt Every time I wear this, I just feel like it's a little itchy. Even though it's super cute and comfy, it's perfect for um, wearing with leggings. Oh, y'all, this focus. I'm sorry. We're we out here trying, so we'll learn. Maybe the autofocus is not the best for a video like this where I'm constantly moving. Goodbye.
this. Even though it's it's wildly oversized, which makes it for a fun, comfy hang, it's still a crop top, and I just still don't like that. And I need to accept that. This. Just simply never reach for it ever. So that means I'm, it's not meant to be. Here's one of those tough ones. These pants are super soft and fuzzy, given to me by my sweet, sweet husband. They're just really thick and ever... Oh, I thought I heard Willow. We're good. Ever since being pregnant, I am just way more hot natured. I was pregnant, had Willow, thought I'd go back to the way I was, and I haven't yet. So these, I'm just so hot in. Here's where I admit I'm not perfect. I'm going to hang on to them. They're still a little sentimental. Maybe I'll get cold again next year. We're going to keep them a little bit longer. These I love. I got these from a local boutique, Augie and Zoe in Wilmington. And they've been some of my favorite pants since 2020. But just the reality. Wear and tear. They're like the seams are coming totally undone. And that's the other thing about this like journey of minimalism that we've been reading about is like not only just having less stuff but also like take pride in things you have you don't wear ratty clothes like why would you do that when you have nicer things so why would I hold on to these because I love them so much but it's like I have other pants that are nice too so with that being said moment of silence for these super fun casual wide legged pants Well, looks like Willow's awake now, so our fun time is over. But I did count. We got rid of 19 items exactly. So you saw the rest of my closet. You know I have a lot of clothes. So I don't have any kind of like capsule or minimalist wardrobe where I only have like 10 things to wear. But we're working on it and we're finding out what works for us. So hope this was fun. Hope it inspires you to go clean out your closet. And we'll see you all in our next video. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, one thing I forgot to say. I am going to be taking all of this to local consignment store. Um, that's what I always do. And then once a month you get to cash out with whatever cash you have like on your account. And for my next video or for a coming up video, I'm going to cash out when that time comes and whatever money I have, I'm going to buy new like um, makeup and skincare stuff from the drugstore that I've been wanting to try, but I just can't justify buying because I don't need it. So we're like taking all this extra money, spending it in a fun way and trying new things. So anyways, I just wanted to let y'all know that's coming.